It's time for the U.S. government to stop selling bombs and other weapons that the Saudi Arabian government is using to cut the lives short of people next door in Yemen and to repress human rights at home. I'm from Saudi Arabia and I'm afraid to show my face in this video because the Saudi regime may go after me and my family. I'm speaking out for all the oppressed women and minorities whose voices cannot be heard. Washington likes to talk about Saudi Arabia as one of our most important allies in the Arab world, in the Middle East, in the world. What they really are is the best ally of the arms dealers. That's why we have to be challenging what Saudi Arabia's government has come to represent. As long as the Saudi monarchy has influence over American politicians, the policies of this government, of the American government, will not be in favor of you as a free American. I think it's very important for Americans to consider the role Saudi Arabia plays in the larger region as a whole, and we should ask very seriously why our government is sponsoring these policies that are completely contrary to the values that it claims to be based on. I'm Matar, Ibrahim Matar, former MP from Bahrain. During the uprising of Bahrain, I was arrested. It was a very tough period for me and for a lot of Bahrainis who were facing systematic torture and a, a, a lot of uh, widespread uh, violation for human rights. It's the time for you is to stop depending on dictators to maintain their interest in the region. My name is uh, Muhammad al nimr I'm the son of the martyr, uh, Sheikh Nimr al nimr uh, my father was uh, killed by the Saudi government. I'm here to participate in this conference to show the people what kind of danger are they in if they are dealing with this government. Uh, they are putting so much money to destabilize the region so they can gain more influence and they are using the Wahhabi ideology to kill people and uh, it's not part of Islam. We at Code Pink would like you to join us on calling on the United States government to discontinue their sales of weapons to Saudi Arabia. As we look at the turmoil in the Middle East and we see things getting worse and worse each day, there's one country most responsible for the spread of extremism, and that is Saudi Arabia. It's high time that we focus on it, we look at the cozy U.S.-Saudi relationship, and we do something about it, which is stop sending them weapons.